Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an updated cleaning routine. If I want the house to stay clean, I try to spend some time every day on cleaning, and I focus on rooms that we spend the most time in. Realistically, it doesn't always happen, but these are habits I try to implement daily, every three days, and once a week for a maintained home. Now, I wanted to let you know that this video is a collaboration with Grove Collaborative. They are a scheduled delivery service that offers eco-friendly and non-toxic products for the family and around the house, and they carry a lot of my favorite brands like Mrs. Myers and Method and 7th Generation at really good prices. So I get several products sent to my door once a month, and then others sent every few months. So I just customize my order so I don't get stuck with too much of one thing, and it works out really nice, and it saves me a trip to the store. So if I need something sooner or later, you can adjust the ship day, and it just makes it so that you don't have to commit to one particular thing, so it's really great. For this collaboration, they wanted to offer you guys a free gift. So for new member signups, you get all of these items for free in the scent of your choice. I love this scent and the little scrubber for the kitchen sink. If you're interested and want to know more, just check the description. Everything will be there. But I'm just going to jump right into my cleaning routine, starting with what I do every day. My first daily habit I try to implement is fixing the bed. It makes a huge difference to fix the bed and also clean off the nightstands every single day. A lot of times we'll have extra cups or various things that end up there and it can just look really cluttered in the bedroom. So that alone will make the bedroom look really clean. And since obviously you sleep in your bed every night, making your bed every morning will make a big difference. The other room that I have to clean every single day, multiple times a day, is the kitchen. My husband and I are always in there cooking and it gets a lot of traffic, so we're cleaning it constantly. I really love to have household gloves. My hands get really dry and they peel if I don't use gloves. I also need a good sponge. I love these walnut sponges and then a scrub brush. And I do use that if there's anything stuck on a pan or a bowl before it goes in the dishwasher. Now I'm taking this upcycled whiskey bottle. I mentioned this in my DIY upcycled video so you can go check that out. And I have this seventh generation. It's actually a hand soap and a dish soap in one. So I'm filling that up with that so you can use that for washing your hands. But you can also use it for a dish soap. I also really like the Mrs. Myers dish soap and I usually have that around as well. So either the seventh generation or the Miss Myers is what I will use. To clean the kitchen sink, I use baking soda and dish soap. So depending on which dish soap I have in the moment, I will use a combination, equal parts of both, and I will scrub the sink. And then I will also stick a lemon, usually a used lemon, down the disposal so it smells good. I like the Mrs. Myers All Surface Spray to clean the surface of my kitchen, so the kitchen counters. And I also use this for the bathrooms as well. And the kitchen usually takes me the longest in the day now to clarify, even though I do clean the kitchen every day, I don't clean the entire kitchen every single day. I like to try to get to the stainless steel because it gets lots of smudges and handprints. So I was in the market for a new stainless steel cleaner because I wasn't crazy about the one I was using before, although I felt it worked great. I really like this method stainless steel cleaner. I was turned on to this and now I love it. I use it on my refrigerator and all my other stainless steel appliances with a microfiber cloth. So if I can get the dishes put away, the kitchen sink cleaned, the counters cleaned, and the stainless steel cleaned, that makes a huge difference in how clean the kitchen looks. And then I also like to try to spray and clean the surfaces of my bathrooms. If I can do these things every single day, it really does make my house look really clean. And then every three days I will go in and do some other tasks that I can't do every single day. Some of the things I do every three days include vacuuming and sweeping the house. Obviously with hardwood floors, you know, I have these hard, or they look like hardwood floors, they're tile. Um, I use the Roomba, which my mom actually got me as a housewarming gift, the iRobot, and I just turn it on and it just goes. Now I gotta say, it's not the most amazing vacuum you'll ever get in your life, but the great thing is you can turn it on and be doing other things and it does kind of sweep up some things that are on the floor. It also really works great for the carpeted areas. Um, it does have downsides. So I wouldn't say that this is like the best thing that ever existed, but I do like to turn it on because it kind of, it gets something done, which is nice around the house so that I can do other things and um, not have to spend hours and hours vacuuming. 
The laundry is another big one, although I don't do it every single day. I would say on average, I do at least a load every three days. Sometimes I'll do a few loads once a week. It kind of just depends. I have this laundry divider, which I've talked about before on my channel and also on my Instagram story. So I will divide the laundry. I'll go room to room to each of the hampers and divide the laundry, do a few loads. Right now I'm using the Method Concentrate and also the Mrs. Myers Fabric Softener. I really like this laundry detergent concentrate because it's just five pumps and then I will put fabric softener if I am cleaning towels. I usually don't use it on clothes necessarily but I do use it for towels so they're nice and soft. Whatever the Roomba doesn't get I will sweep the floors make sure there's nothing on the floors before I use the steam mop. I'm obsessed with my steam mop. I've talked about it multiple times on my channel. I try to steam the floors every three days, once a week, depending on you know what's going on, how they look. I used to do it a lot more at the old place because we had lighter colored tile and the areas that got heavy traffic just looked really dirty. And so using the steam mop every day made a huge difference in how clean my house looked. With this house, I don't have to do it as often. So I sweep and steam mop the kitchen floor and the living room floor, the dining room floor, also the bathrooms. This is the kids' bathroom and it has black tile and it also has a door that leads out to the backyard. So when Oliver has his cousins over, they run in and out. There's lots of leaves and dust and it's just heavy traffic. So I do need to make sure that I sweep that up and use the steam mop. I also use the steam mop in my master bathroom. And again, it varies every three days to once a week. The next thing is what I do once a week. Now once a week I dust with a little duster. In the bathroom I need to dust the blinds and I also have the same ones in my bedroom. Anywhere that gets dusty really easy, I will try to dust once a week. Sometimes it's once every other week, but you know, if you can do it once a week, you will keep the dust um, away, which is really nice. <laughs> so that's the goal is to try to dust once a week. The other thing that needs to be done once a week is cleaning the mirrors, usually in the bathroom and also the windows with a glass cleaner. Um, again, sometimes it's once every other week. I try to do it once a week if possible because they do get pretty dirty. And once you clean those up, it makes a difference. Also cleaning the toilets. There is a method antibacterial spray, which I really like for you know, cleaning the toilet and also the toilet bowl, which does need to be cleaned once a week as well. So toilets, you know, they get pretty dirty. I have three different bathrooms. So once a week, they will stay pretty clean. And I use the um, anti-back toilet cleaner, both from Method. I really like both of these products. They work really great. And those are generally what I reach for when it comes time to cleaning the toilets once a week. So super glamorous cleaning the toilets, but we all have to do it for the most part. Also cleaning the shower and the tub. Um, I really like this cream baking soda from Mrs. Myers. You can use that with a scrubber to clean the bathtub and also the tile in your shower. The glass doors in both the showers need to be cleaned once a week. I use this Method Daily Shower Cleaner, even though I don't use it every day. I do use a squeegee every day, or I try to make that a habit. I tried to make it happen a long time ago so that you don't have to clean the glass as often. But I do use this once a week, and I love the smell. It is the best smell for a bathroom cleaner. It just makes it smell so good. It actually makes it smell like a spa. So I love that product for cleaning the um, shower doors. Now I do clean the kitchen stove usually once a week. It's hard to do any more than that to be honest, but it does get pretty dingy from all the cooking. So I do like to make sure that I clean this and I usually do this on the weekends when I'm cleaning the kitchen. So I'll spend a little bit more time doing this so that that looks nice and clean. And that pretty much finishes up my routine. I know it seems like a lot, but when you break it down to once a day, every three days and once a week it's really not as much as it seems so anyway huge thanks to Grove Collaborative for collaborating with me on this video and supporting it check out everything in the description below if you're interested in getting the free products and I will see you guys in my next video bye